Hey guys, welcome back to another Digimon Rearise video. So, we finally got it. Um, we just got a data download like a few minutes ago, and thanks to Ryu on the Discord, we do have info. Uh, well, Ryu, that data mined it. We, we do have the data mined info on the next banner, which is, as expected, a step up. So, we finally got a step up. It's been a hot minute <laughs> since we've had our last step. Our last step up was at the end of October, right? Middle end of October with the Daemon banner, which is. You know, that's pretty cool, right, uh, Daemon? So what we're getting over here, as you can see, is Boncho Leomon step up with a guaranteed Trubimon for, for the guaranteed on, on the step up. So this is not that great, but it's also expected. Uh, as, as we've seen before, um, when we date, uh, we actually got, uh, when we actually got data mine info for the, uh, wait, what was it the 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 clash thing? Damn, where is it? <laughs> Anyways, um, w w when we got d data mine info for the the Christmas clash battle, it did show that uh, aside from Ophanimon and and Seraphimon, that uh, Cherubimon and Banjoleomon, these two were also in the plus stats category. So again, <laughs> back then my theory was. That they'll put Trubimon and Banjolimon on a step up, and it looks like I kind of sort of called it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, it, it was it was an easy call. Um, not taking too much credit for that, but uh, it did happen, and we are getting a step up with Banjolimon and good Trubimon. So this step up from step one to step five, it's a total of what? Let's see, two hundred, um, uh, one hundred fifty, two hundred, uh, four hundred. 500, 570 Digiruby, so uh, slightly, uh, you know, a bit short of 600 Digiruby. So it's basically a bit, it's basically a week's worth of, of, um, of Battle Park Digirubies if you're placed, I think, like top 1,000 around, around that mark, right? You know, plus all the daily mission rubies and stuff, so... Uh, it's it's a week worth of your rubies. Mm. Again, these two units are kind of trash, low key trash. But I mean, Truby is good in some instances, I guess. But uh, yeah, not not the greatest step up banner, unfortunately. In comparison, honestly, <laughs> uh, this banner is slightly better <laughs> Just because again, Ophanimon and Strafimon are, are I I think. Of, I kind of cha changed my mind. I now think that both of Animon and Seraphimon are better than um, Banjolimon and Cherubimon, unfortunately. But uh, you do get some other stuff if you do summon on this banner. So first step, you get some bits. Second step, you get Sam Drink and then bits as well. And then third step, you get this, uh, Devoted Skillstone Shards as well as a uh, Protein and then more bit. Fourth step, it's a another Devoted Shard. Um, some plug-in boosts, uh, boosters, and then some more bits, and then the last step, you also get that 1.3 times, uh, you know, featured Digimon summon rate. Oh, it's featured Digimon, not Rainbow? Damn. Ugh. Uh, I guess most people will be summoning for the featured Digimon anyways. Well, it really depends on what's on the banner, right? It could be just your regular <laughs> run-the-mill Boltmon, Ebimon, Platinum Numimon, freaking Metal Edamon stuff, trash, <laughs> or they could maybe... Again, every single banner I'm praying for it to have, like, at least some Wargreymon, Melgarumon stuff come back in the banner, but apparently it's not happening <laughs> so far. And also a comp uh, skill stone shard and then uh, two plug-in boosters as well. So, uh, I mean, these rewards are okay-ish. They're not anything amazing, but they're not t trash either, so... But, like... <sighs> okay. Trubimon and... And Bachelor Lima, let, let, let's go over them, right? So these two characters. <laughs> anyway, let, let, let's go through uh, Bancho Leomon first. Uh, Bancho Leomon, actually, I think I think the Discord has a better translation. Um, the folks at the Discord are much better translators than the freaking Google Translate. Sorry, it's a really low bar <laughs> to compare them with, but you know, don't really have much else to to compare them with. So I think okay, here's Bancho Leomon. So HP six thousand eight hundred and sixty, tech two thousand six hundred eighty three, defense one thousand one hundred and twenty, and then twelve speed. The stats are really really yikes to begin with. 
Uh, not the greatest stats, unfortunately. It is a tech unit. It is a tech single target unit, so, you know, you don't get those too often, I guess. Main skill deals 460% damage to one enemy, increases uh, your own crit rate by 50%. So that's a really, really high crit rate, right? 60% chance to inflict an enemy with stuns. It's not really useful. Um, in clash battles, which is where you'll mostly be using Bonjo Limon, I guess. Sub skill deals 260% damage to two enemies, reduce the two enemies' defense by 20%. That's not terrible. Uh, but then again, it's only two enemies. If it was like three enemies or all enemies, would have been better. Obviously, you know, three enemies, all enemies, that's not going to be the multiplier. Um, so moving on. Path of skill grants calm allies immunity to poison, burn, error effects for one turn, which is nice, which is nice. Increase own block rate by 20%. Uh, bleh, that's whatever. <laughs> Upon block, block in an attack, damage received mitigated by 75% instead of the usual 50%. This is really good. Right. Um, although Seraphim Mod is out there now, even though I personally haven't seen too many, but you know, it's it's only been a few days after Seraphim Mod dropped. I'm sure there will be more Seraphim Mod soon, uh, in in the in the Battle Park. But uh, overall, absolute trash stats. Like, I think there are rankings here. Yeah, <laughs> on this website, if you see like the rankings of the stats, like holy crap, this defense man, right? Um, really, really trash. Uh, stats overall the moves the moves are honestly I, I honestly I think the moves are okay for clash because you do have a you know a high multiplier on single target tech could be better <laughs> but unfortunately it's not um, sub skill is whatever uh, I, I guess it, I, I, you know what now that I think about it it's actually not terrible for clash just because you don't really run stuff like Nervemon for Clash anyway, so I guess a, a defense down would be fine. But then again, do remember, like, stuff like Air Vigemon, Mirage Galgamon is just much, much better than than what uh, Bonjoliomon offers here. Yeah, now that the more I think about it, <laughs> the more it seems like, like, freaking Bonjoliomon, or, 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 or like, freaking um, Air Vigemon's better than Bonjoliomon for Clash. Although, Air Vigemon doesn't have that 50% uh, crit rate, which is nice, but it just does more damage or, 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 or defense down with its S2, which increases your whole team's damage, right? So, uh, I don't know. And also, it's really easy, easy to get your uh, Air Vigemon up uh, a lot of skill level in comparison to Bunch of Leomon. Um, again, for, for the passive... I guess you can run a calm of calm team. It's gonna be difficult, right? It's gonna be difficult, and I don't think it's really that great because, like, if you're running a full calm team, you're just gonna get obliterated defensively, right? Y you will have a lot of offense, right? You got Wisemon, Mega Gargomon, uh, Minerva Mon, right? You got a lot of offense, um, g you know, a lot of offensive um options, but defensively, you're just gonna get like absolutely battered uh, on the defensive end. So I really wouldn't suggest running a, a you know a pure calm team yet at the moment. So the passive, even though it's not terrible, if you're running a full tough calm team, but then again, calm teams just aren't that great at the moment, unfortunately. They they will get much better in the future, which you know we could then talk about when that comes. But uh, overall, Bonjo Limon not too great, <laughs> not really interesting. Um, Tribumon's slightly more interesting. So if you check out the stats here, the stats. Um, for a better visualization, we'll we'll go check uh, this site where there are rankings for those of you who aren't really familiar with the stats uh, overall. So the stats aren't terrible overall. They're not too great either. Um, again, for Cherubimon, you know, it, it, it's I'm pretty sure it's a devoted one, right? Um, double check, yeah, devoted. As as most like most devoted Digimon, you're not here to do damage, so this doesn't really matter. Um, everything else is just mediocre, I guess. Um, but again, you know, not the greatest in the stats department. But uh, it has some interesting skills. So main skill: one hundred seventy percent damage to all enemies. Uh, increased calm brave allies defense by thirty percent for two turns. Grants calm brave allies HP regen one thousand HP per action for two turns. That's pretty interesting, you know. A thousand HP per action is a lot. <laughs> if you guys ever fought a daemon. Every time, every time it hits um, the enemy, it regens 500, and that, and Daemon's really, really hard to kill. Granted, Daemon has better defensive stats overall than freaking, um, you know, your run-the-mill calm slash brave uh, Digimon, but, but still, right? 
uh, regening 1,000 per action is really nice, especially for stuff like Minerva Mon, right? Who are a are who who is a you know defensive liability on your team. Uh, this 1,000 HP regen is nice. Um, sub skill deals one uh, 130 percent damage to all enemies. <coughs> Decrease the power of brave allies by 30% and tech of calm allies, or uh, not decrease, increase. Increase the power of brave allies by 30%, increase the tech of calm allies by 30%. So what Terubion is, it's is just a, um, it's a brave slash calm support. So you're mostly going to run this as a brave calm support. And I mean, it would be nuts if you run it on any other team, right? Um, but it, it it takes that job real well, and and if you you know pair with Phoenix Mon, which is another very brave comm support, I actually don't know how that's gonna work out, just because you know um two of your even though you are supporting your comm slash brave allies really really well with that combo, uh you still have well Phoenix Mon and Tribuon on your team, and two of them they don't really fit into that equation um that well, so if they get blown out, well then you're pretty screwed. Um, but yeah, uh, like Phoenix Mon, this is another comm brave support. Again, a pure calm brave team at the moment isn't too good, um, unfortunately. Uh, you 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 got some better options, I'd say, than 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 Phoenix Mon in, when Phoenix Mon initially dropped. Right, um, we got another chance at getting Rosemar for those who want that, and also uh, Surfimon's a, a decent brave option, right? So overall, it's better than where Phoenix Mon was when Phoenix Mon initially came out. Uh, but the passive skill. Uh, grants immunity to shock, paralysis, stun, freeze, blah blah blah. It's it's the calm brave version <laughs> of of any mods passive, right? And then increases calm brave allies block rate by thirty percent, which is nice, I guess. So it's a it's a pretty decent um, support. If you're running like a full calm brave team, you probably don't even need to run high andromon for this, and you probably don't then need to run you know a wise mon or, or or whatever for this as well, right? So you could just Fill in a calm slash brave team, you know, it's either it's going to be Boltmon, um, what else, Minervamon, I guess Sakumon, uh, Ebamon, I guess, uh, again, uh, Seraphimon, again, like, your options are really limited, unfortunately, for, for calm and brave teams. Uh, Venom Myotismon is a decent one, especially, you know, with the with the HP regen, it's going to make Venom Myotismon slightly harder to kill. <laughs> right um oh rust around mon that's another one that's a really really good option as well for the calm brave teams uh what else maguru mon let's not do that <laughs> war uh, it's if you really don't have any other options mel mon war mon shine gray mon sure i guess <laughs> um mega garg mon that's another big one right so uh overall you know calm brave team could be better but we are getting some uh, options potentially in, in the near future, right? Uh, I think this is calm. Yeah, uh, Kentorismon here is is calm, so that's a really good option when Kentorismon comes out. And you know, look, Boncho Limon's over here, and then Trimuron's over here, so very likely we could get these guys soon in the near future. Um, Alphamon's another one. Alphamon's brave, right? And then All Force Vidamon, which is absolutely a meta changer, is also calm. So we could potentially very quickly get into this range of stuff. Gaimon is devoted, or not devoted, uh, Dexterity, so it doesn't really matter at the moment. Um, but yeah, and, and Black War Creamon, which is actually pretty good as well. I think, if I remember correctly, it's Calm. Yeah, Calm. So anyways, <clears throat> that's me for this one. Well, actually, one more thing, one more thing. We got another limited plugin summon. <laughs> so, again... This could either be good or terrible because a rainbow rainbow plugins are good. They're really really good, but hopefully they're not the single stat ones that we got last time. Um, hopefully they're actually you know multi stats, which would be much 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 better uh, than the regular single stat stuff. So anyways, uh, we'll we'll see what this becomes, and uh, hopefully it's it's not terrible. So anyways, again that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you guys are summoning for this. Uh, this uh, banner. When is it coming out? Uh, let me check the news. When did our last banner come out? Hmm. I think it came out on Sunday, right? Let me check if there's a notice or or anything. Um. Or actually, I'll, I'll check summons if there's any summons that are ending. I think. Uh. I don't know. Beelzemon's here all month. Which? What? What was the other one? 
Oh, Rus uh, Rusmer Animon, right? Is is Rusmer Animon spanner uh, ending soon? Uh, it has two days. Okay, so or two days, nineteen hours left. So it's probably gonna drop on Sunday again. So yeah. Anyways, again, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Join our Discord if you guys want to talk about all this stuff, and also if you want to join our Digi Guild, which would be really really cool because. Our digital guild is nice. <laughs> and anyways, um, subscribe to your channel, like and enjoy this video, and all that stuff, I guess. And I'll see you guys in the next one.